We've all been there. We try to do some work and suddenly we face a mental block. For you, I have a scientifically proven method that hopefully should get rid of this block. When we're doing a task, we have a dominant mode of thinking, behaving, and feeling. This is what I call TBF. Let's say, for example, when you're studying, you're very goal oriented You're very focused on achieving a certain goal. This, my friend, is called the telic state. On the other hand, when you're doing something such as drawing or knitting, you're very playful, you're very exploratory, trying out new things without necessarily a specific outcome. This is called the paratelic state. Sometimes when doing these tasks, we face a mental block. No matter how long we spend on it, we just aren't able to think any further. The solution to this is the reversal theory. This is where you are switching from your most dominant state to the other state. So if you are in the telic state, you will switch to the paratelic state. And if you are in the paratelic state, you will switch to the telic state. If you are studying for an exam, you will be in the telic state. And if you find it hard to understand a concept, then the advice would be to switch to the paratelic state. Research has shown that switching from the two different states can boost creativity and help individuals overcome this mental block. For example, a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that individuals who were primed to switch to a paratelic state were more likely to generate creative solutions to problems than those who are primed to stay in the telic state. Let's look at a few other examples of how you can switch from the two different states. Let's say you are in the telic state and you are studying a topic such as embryology. You're finding it difficult to memorize and conceptualize this topic at hand. So the suggestion here would be to switch to the paratelic state and do something more playful, such as, you know, word sheets or crosswords or drawing diagrams. But at the same time, it doesn't necessarily have to be relevant to the actual topic you were doing. Instead, just take a break and do something completely playful, such as drawing or writing a poem or speaking to your friends and family. Do something completely different. Something that actually is a lot more playful and a lot more exploratory. On the other hand, if you are in the paratelic state and let's say you are doing a research project and you, once again, you have this mental block, the suggestion would be to move to the telic state. And the way you would do this is set yourself a goal and so specific that you have a focus in mind and a direction. So all those ideas you've collected, you are now making it a lot more focused. So an example would be to set a goal to complete an introduction draft with a maximum of two ideas and finish writing it within two days. But if you want to switch to a task that is slightly irrelevant and also within the telic phase, then feel free to set yourself a goal with, such as, you know, 30 press ups in the next hour or to go out for a two hour walk, a variety of different things that you can do. But the main focus here is to switch from two different phases. The main lesson here is to be able to switch from the phase that you're in to the phase that you're not in. So if you're in the telic phase, switch to the paratelic phase. If you're in the paratelic phase, switch to the telic phase. But the question is, why does this work? Now, the telic state in which a lot of students tend to be in a lot of the time is associated with the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for executive functioning, decision-making, and planning. This area of the brain is activated when we have a specific goal in mind and also need to focus our attention and efforts towards achieving that goal. On the other hand, the paratelic phase is associated with the limbic system, which is responsible for emotions, motivation, and reward processing. This area of the brain is activated when we are a lot more playful and non-goal oriented. So switching between the two states allows us to switch completely two different networks. So when we switch from the two states, we are essentially activating two different neural networks. This allows for more divergent thinking and creativity. And as a result, people are able to overcome this mental block that they face. Switching from a telic to a paratelic state has been associated with increased dopamine activity, which is involved in motivation and reward processing. This can lead to an increased sense of pleasure and enjoyment in the task at hand, making it easy to overcome mental blocks and persist with the task. So basically, the telic state is more focused on achieving a goal, whilst the paratelic state is more focused on exploration and trying new things without a specific outcome in mind. So by consciously switching between these two states, you can overcome your mental block and boost your creativity. Check out this video here if you want to know about lighting and studying. And don't forget to subscribe. 
And like I always say, stay happy and keep smiling.